Alright guys, welcome to Fantasy Grounds Unity. Doing a silly video today. I'm going to do some switching over into uh, 3D view, first person view with this character selected. And I've got a bunch of pre-done movement paths <laughs> that are all crazy for some of the other people. So uh, if I look here, you'll see I've got this guy is going to be running around in circles doing his little patrol. Uh, Jen's going to be moving around on the inside. And then this big ancient red dragon is going to be doing his little thing, gyrating back and forth. So this could be hilarious. It could all uh, go very horribly, horribly bad. But I'm just going to check and see what this looks like uh, when I activate everything and then shift into first person view. So let's uh, let's go for it. Let's see what we got. So we got to click here, there, 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 and here, and then back in first person view. <laughs> so there we go. So there you go. That's... Um, that's what it looks like here. Uh, yeah, so they're still moving. All right, good. Uh, and this is the first person view as well. So here I've got this person is selected. Uh, if I switch back to camera view, you can see you can move separately from the camera. We're going to also probably come up with like an over the shoulder sort of a look, which will be kind of maybe like that. I mean, we're going to play around with it and see what makes sense. Uh, maybe up here above. So something like that perhaps. Uh, but this is if you have a to token selected, you can switch over first person view. And then as you move around, you can go uh, use the Q and E to turn and then forward and back. Right now in the, in the current build, it is not stopping you at the wall. So there's there's no clipping or other sort of stuff going on right now. But that will be added in pretty soon. We're just playing around with the um, making sure we're okay with it, with the basic feel for it. And then here, if you hold down space, you can still do your mouse look. And then drive and then look around and drive around. So everyone else will be seeing my, my person moving around on the screen, much like uh, you could see these people moving along their paths as well. Um, if you're the GM, you can still move figures this way. So GMs can use this, but it's going to be primarily probably used by players just to move themselves. And if you want to switch to a different token, then basically just click over here, uh, select another token, go back in. So now I'm acting as this token back out of uh, 2D mode and now I can be this person. There we go. So you can see what they see from their vantage point essentially. So that's it. Have fun playing around with the test build. This is in the test channel right now. Uh, if you're going to do anything with your campaigns or you want to copy over your existing campaign, copy it from your campaigns folder into the channels test campaigns folder and then you can play around with it from there. Just know that it won't go back and forth. If you shift back to the live build later on, any changes you've made in your test campaign won't translate over. So have fun. Take care.